Like you want to have a care in the world, brah. Blaze the pipe. La, la, da, 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 my room is crystal clean, and I know why. Why, man? Yeah, yeah, cause I did ice. Yeah, cause I did ice. Cause I did ice. <laughs> You're a fucking piece of shit. You better keep your fucking shoes on that she gave you. I'm about to rob her. Uh, yeah, she follows me up there, too. My friend is here. Give her no friend. This bitch will get it. Girl, drugs is bad as hell. Damn, drugs is bad for a motherfucker. Thank you for tuning in or checking in to this podcast. We're going to be talking about how meth has changed, I guess, users into, well, most users, a lot of users into zombies now. Or tweakers, they call it, even tweaking into zombie. That lady you just heard right there. I mean, you can you can uh, choose to either laugh at this podcast or take it seriously. But yeah, that lady right there, that that inner little thirty second segment came from downtown Sacramento, and I went and looked it up from YouTube because that's how I get my clips, and then I save it and turn it from video to audio. I was like, oh my gosh, I know that lady. I see her every day almost. I mean, just in your backyard, just right here, right in downtown Sacramento. But that lady just. She would just like be yelling at people who be feeding the homeless, feeding out people. Anything that someone's doing good, she'll go there and start yelling like a demon's in her, or she's just so tweaked out that she's just like zombified, like walking around. I seen her in a Rite Aid, and right in the pharmacy chair, I'm sitting like literally two chairs from her. I'm sitting there looking like, what smells like piss? I'm like, damn, this lady stink. She gets up, she pisses on the seat. It's all wet on the seat. It's all wet on her. And she walks around the store like nothing happened. I'm sitting there like, man, I was about to go off on her. I just had to tell the pharmacy. I'm like, man, this is getting ridiculous out here. I mean, you, uh, another time when right outside my building on 10th Street, this dude was sitting there rolling around in a whole bunch of dirt and mud, and trash, right by a trash bin, just like a pig, rolling around like and I'm just sitting there looking like, oh, my goodness. Another time someone was standing out in the wintertime with no, he just had some, like, pants on, no shirt, no shoes. And then I went to my house and I got him a jacket, a shirt, shoes. I was like, come on, man, snap out of it. I was like, don't let them do that to you. Don't let the demon. I was like, you got to win. And he looked at me kind of with tears in his eye like he wanted to stop or he knew what I was talking about. Like, for a minute, he snapped and started being normal. And I was just like, I'm just going to leave the clothes right here for you, all right, man? And then I... You know, went back upstairs for a while, came back. I guess he took the clothes, so that's good. It's just like everywhere else. I mean, I'm so scared. There's a lot of little parks that I'm scared to, and people are scared to walk their dogs and walk through now because of needles everywhere. Um, people that are just using meth going crazy. I mean, I uh, told one of my homies from the seaside just a little while ago, uh, you know, he said that there was a epidemic of that in Arizona, and other states, I forgot, but Arizona, I know it's in Nevada a lot. Um, Oregon, Washington, it's flooding the West Coast. And you know, I was just, I told him, I was like, man, I was walking past a park, a kid's park, or it's just kind of like, I mean, there was a, a father walking by the sun, and it's just like a little grassy kind of park area, a small one. And uh, this dude was sitting there having something up his butt or something, some toy. And he was in a fireman suit with the shirt off, like just a fireman bottom half. You know, going up and down, rubbing, itching, sitting there walking around. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I had, I mean, I don't like to be calling police on people and all that, but sometimes you need to. I had to call the police on them. And I didn't, you know, there's kids walking around. This dude needs to get taken off for help. I mean, that's dangerous. Just the other day, someone almost uh, tried to attack me. I mean, I'm sitting there in line somewhere. And this dude just all of a sudden, I don't know if a demon popping in him or if it's just, he's tweaked out, zombied out. 
he looks at me with the evilest look and I look back and then he's sitting there, go away, go away, shoot me away. And he's clapping his fists together and then he's rocking back, breathing hard like he's about to come and punch me. So for a minute, I got kind of like scared for a little bit. So I'm like, I'm like, what the heck did I do to you? I was like, what are you doing? And then I'm just like, you know what? Not this time. I'm about to, uh, I'm about to be wanting to put hands on him because last time I had to take a, a punch from someone and just kind of out of nowhere, it's like people are just going crazy. So this time I was like, man, you know, I got kind of angry this time and went off of him in the store. And I guess other dude was like, oh, uh, um, you guys, uh, he got to get out of here. He's like, he's never going to return again. It's just he snapped out of nowhere. And it's like, you know, it's dangerous to the point where I had to put my hands up. And I was like, you know, I had to defend myself. A lot of other times, just people that just come up to you and um, it's getting so worse than the last year. That's where it's getting more violence at. Now, two to three years ago, it was uh, get people just like, tweaking tweaking on stuff tweaking out they call it tweakers like where they you know been up for so long or they're just not the same anymore and this last year it's been like all zombies that last year and a half it's gotten worse and then before you know before the tweaking came out people were really doing uh the crank and the meth and it was just you could see on their face they were doing it or you know saying it was just you didn't want to be around the type of people because you didn't want to be involved in all that but now it's just gotten to a worse and i feel sorry for people that were on it now it's like, if you're not doing it, you're the oddball. You know, there's so much, it's so, it's everywhere. Even in the middle class, when you try to get away from the areas and go to college, people are doing it at college. People are doing Adderall and uh, pills and Xanax and heroin, all kinds of stuff. It's like, you cannot, certain cities, it's just drug prone and you can't get away from there because that's all there is out there. I mean, I understand that people got to make their money sometimes and, I hate to say this, but this is honest to God truth. I mean, I'm 100% against people selling heroin and meth because it's really damaging. It's really tearing up people. It's tearing up the city. It's looking awful out there. It's dangerous, just like in the movies. You guys, I mean, they're trying to make it popular too on that Netflix. So, you know, it's like, it's weird. It's like they're playing the um, that Netflix series. I forgot what it's called. But, you know, the Netflix series you get to watch, it's about, um, oh, Breaking Bad. It's about making meth and all that and doing this and that. Uh, let me tell you some of the people what's in the greens of meth after we hear this commercial real quick. Damn Show Volume 3. Order now at damnshow.com. Let me ask you a question. You ever feel tired, depressed? Life got you down. Well, I got the product for you! Oh shit! Buy me a possum cause methamphetamine! This is incredible! Fuck! <laughs> How does it make you feel? It makes you feel like this. Just one! There's a reason I don't hang on your side of town. Methods, methods. You've got a lot of crazy people out there running around. Methods, methods. Now, and we're back. Now, I didn't see this video of different ways of uh, making meth to see what kind of like how they make it and all that. And I also going through uh, to this cannabis college online, I learned how to make, they make this uh, same method. It's a method where they put a copper penny and a glass of water and they put a, um, a positive and negative clip on it and clip it to a battery. So basically they're frying the copper all night and then that liquid and then in that water, you put it in a spray bottle and you spray it on a female cannabis plant. And guess what it does? It makes that cannabis female plant turn male and the female plant starts growing pollen sacs and instead of producing buds, it'll start producing pollen. And that's the same method in the ingredients in the way they cook meth or where they frying, they need, uh, they're using a battery to fry uh, the insides of the battery and they're doing the same kind of technique. So that's why you have a lot of people that are, you know, a lot of people are using meth for, um, I guess they're calling it the gay drug or something. Uh, uh, this turn a lot of people gay or it turns a lot of people sexual, whatever you're thinking of, like it enhances that. It's like turning people totally out. So it's like, you know, I see where it comes from now, as in they're saying they spray that in some areas in the air or something. I mean, all that is true. You can look it up. They're, 
the method of making that is just so many different ingredients. They use um, Sudafed in there, Sudafed or whatever. Um, all kinds of different chemicals, cleaning chemicals, and this and that. It's just, you know, that that lets me know it's your average person cannot make that and cannot even make it up in the first batch. Back in the uh, 70s or whenever it really started, crank started hitting hard, making all that up. I mean, that had to come from some scientists. That's some chemical science. You have to know science and um, to be able to sit there and make all that mess. So it's like, hmm, gee, I wonder who started making it. But you guys do know that Hitler had a form of meth he was giving some of his soldiers, and it was basically to keep them up for days and days and days at a time, to have them up just like zombies, and they didn't get no sleep because they wanted to make the ultimate soldier. So there's something called, I think, MDMA or something. It's also an ecstasy. It's MDM or something that's in there, and it makes you feel invincible, and it's been used so many times. It's dangerous. It is really dangerous. If you... Um, if, you know, like I said, if you kick the habit, if you was on meth or you kick the habit or you trying to, you know, now would be a good time to stop. I mean, and if you stop, don't go back. It's, um, you know, I just seen so many people fall apart from it that have been around me. And I just had to lose a lot of friends from that because, like, you can't really trust them. You, like, can't trust them in your house. You can't have barbecues at your house. You can't have uh, sleepovers because then stuff comes up missing or, you know, it just gets to the point. It's like, you know, gosh, I had one of my own campmates when I was uh, homeless looking for a place and I didn't have a car at the time. So I was in a tent and this dude was just on, you know, I bring him over to my campground, which was a good spot. And he just makes it hot. And one time I I, I was on the phone and he had said, oh, uh, where are you at or something? I was like, hmm, I know what that meant. That means he wants to know where I'm at to see what's in my tent or something. So I come back and my tent's broken up to him. I mean, my tent's broken into, and it's all, I'm like, <laughs> you just, like, you helping someone else, like, man, come on, and he was uh, mad about it, and he uh, admitted it, and he was messing up with his friends, one of his friends slapped him in the face, like, kicked him, his family didn't want him no more, his ba- he lost his baby's mama, uh, those relationships, time with his kid, all that, and it's like, you know, come on now, that stuff also has you up, you'd be desperate, you'd be going robbing stores, breaking in cars, you know, all these cars and all these uh, houses getting broken into and are making fake money, spending fake money, selling the dope itself. I mean, they're doing stuff that you wouldn't normally do just to get the high again. And then it's like, you know, they're, they're, people are losing their own family members over that because you can't trust them. And it's like, it's just destroying people. It's sad. It is really sad. Right here, here's a... Um, interview with what's going on in Fresno about the academic. The most frightening crystal meth users ever seen. The crystal meth high. One hit of crystal meth can cause a flood of dopamine, a feel-good neurotransmitter to be released in the brain. This results in an extensive, concentrated, and very pleasurable high. Crystal meth's intense high is only temporary, but its effect on your brain and mood are almost instant. The flood of dopamine it induces recedes very quickly, resulting in a devastating crash that causes extreme anxiety, fatigue, depression, and even paranoia. Your teeth. Crystal meth is so corrosive that when you inhale it, the smoke damages everything it touches. If you're a crystal meth user, you're very likely to have significant tooth decay and loss. Dental problems can begin very shortly after you start using, and you can become completely toothless. Even if you don't smoke meth and choose another method of ingestion, you can still have significant oral health problems because crystal meth users have notoriously poor diets. Uh, already 15 minutes we only got 29 seconds so thanks for tuning in if you guys want to stand up for the fight against humanity and uh, keeping people clean and forward progression in the world of drugs and all that go ahead and um, comment on this section Uh, do something in your community that you can help out with anything anything that we can do to make a better america i mean let's make great america great again which meaning us us people do it